I love you like kings love queens, like a gay geneticist loves designer jeans. I need you like New Orleans needs a drought, like Hitler's father needed to learn to pull out, and I want you. Yeah, like a lawyer slash mathematician wants some kind of proof, and I want you. Yeah, like JFK wanted a car with a roof. Because love is taking that dive, then getting really comfortable and peeing in the pool. And love is a real life porn, minus all the stuff that makes porn cool. And love is a homeless guy searching for treasure in the middle of the rain. And finding a bag of gold coins and slowly finding out they're all filled with chocolate. And even though he's heartbroken, he can't complain because he was hungry in the first place. Because I love you like Dora loves maps, like the Pope's toilet loves holy craps. I need you like a voyeur needs a branch, like boys tossing salad need a little bit of Neverland Ranch. Yeah, and I want you like all the gothic kids at school who look exactly the same, never want to conform. And I want you like Anne Frank wanted. Nobody read her fucking diary. Because a diary is a secret collection of things that no one is supposed to read. That's the whole point of a diary. Millions of people have breached a little girl's privacy after she was chased by Nazis. Kick her while she's down. We remind 1000 BC. I was your caveman. You were my cave lady. If we got hot, we'd start rubbing. If we got hungry, we'd go clubbing. Look, there's a woolly mammoth. I will protect us. You're making me devolve into a homo erectus. Motherfucker. And if we met in 1380, I was a noble controlling a large tract of pen to land in the England, and you're my chamber pot cleaning servant lady. Whenever I could get away from the missus, I'd go to your room and steal you kisses. But let's be serious, I'm still working for them as a servant, because there's a difference between romantic language and complete disregard for socioeconomic trends. And if we met in 1941, I was a Nazi, you was a gypsy on the run. That's a little redundant. <laughs> Actually, that probably would have worked out. Because love is your favorite meal for every breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And love is the Holocaust if you don't die quick and you don't get thinner. And love is being the owner of the company that makes rape whistles. And even though you started the company with good intentions trying to reduce the rate of rape, now you don't want to reduce it at all because if the rape rate declines, you'll see an equal decline in whistle sales. Without rapists, who's gonna buy your whistles? Yeah, love is all about whistles.